Okay, in this video, Gabrielle angles her pool kill as shown below. So the, the pool kill, Q, excuse me. Line, right? Uh, it certainly is a 3D shape, but here they're representing it as a line. They should tell us that, but they don't. Um, and here, the pool table edge. Okay, right along here is also being represented as a line. So we really have the intersection of two lines here. And angle B and A are right here. So here's B. Oops. Angle B is right here. And angle A is right here. But together, if I add up angle B and A, if they're both sitting on the the pool Q, the pool Q uh, on this line right here they have to add up to 180 degrees. That's the basic notion of a straight line. If I have a straight line right here, the angles, the adjacent angles along it have to add up to 180, right? So these two angles, A and B, share this common side and this vertex, so we call them adjacent. Together, they form the full arc of the straight line. So A and B, those two angles, have to equal 180 degrees, and we're going to use that idea to figure out the measure of A. So A is 2x plus 40 degrees, and B is going to be x plus 125. Together, they have to equal 180. So I'm going to combine my x's. I have three x's, and my constants, 40 and 125. That's 165. And together, they have to equal 180. So 3x plus 165 has to equal 180. So take 165 from both sides. That gives us 3x equals 15. Again, here, this just cancels out. It's 0. So 3x equals 15. And you can probably see it already. x has to equal 5. But if we didn't, we would just say 3x equals 15. Divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 is just x. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So x equals 5. But they want to know the measure of angle A. So A equals 2x plus 40, and x is 5. So A equals 2. The measure of angle A equals 2 times 5, which is x plus 40. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 40. 10 plus 40 is 50 degrees. So angle A is 50 degrees. And if we had to figure out B, right, it would be 5 plus 125. Angle B equals 5 plus 125. And that's 130. And you can see it, right? 130 plus 50 does give us the straight line of 180 degrees. All right, hope that helped.